Let's say you take the book War and Peace, 2,000 pages. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are able to write it in such a way that it's on 20 pages. Now, this isn't 20 pages of small print. This is just 20 normal written pages. Okay, but the way you read that book is you read it left to right, top to bottom, but then you turn it over <laughs> and read it left to right, top to bottom. And then you take a page and you fold it into another page. And then you take another page and fold it into another page. And you keep, see, it becomes three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. But it's actually four-dimensional because time's involved because each time you fold the page, there's been a change of the information in the book. Mm -hmm. And the book reads the entire novel. It's not like you start with each fold, you get a different story. It's the continuation of the novel. That's an analogy of the human genome. And so then the question is, would we know how to read that book? I would know how to read that book. Would we even have a clue how to write that book? Of course not. And yet that book's been written. It's called the human genome. Now, you cannot tell me in rational terms that a process that relies on mutation and natural selection could write that book. Don't even begin to pretend that I'm going to buy into that. It doesn't make any rational sense whatsoever.